gonna try and if I go that way that's better whoops so I've now only got the lights on my other device so yes um I was going to Perth, wasn't I? New Zealand, that was the story I was in the middle of. So my parents went to New Zealand, uh, I mean, probably about 15 or so years ago. Um, and the um, the kind of, it, they, they, my father, bless her, my mother is no longer with us. My father um, tells me that this is not the case, but I'm not convinced. So... When I was born, my father took out an endowment policy. Um, I don't know if they still do endowment policies. Anyway, he took out an endowment policy. Um, and the, the story is that that was to pay for my wedding. Well, um, I got married having lived with my now husband for 23 years. And uh, if I said that the um, the wedding cost probably under two thousand pounds um that would be about right um so oh and i think we've frozen again um i'm gonna keep going because i just can't be doing with this um so hopefully we're still live and it's just that my other device has given up um anyway so that was the theory that was the story of once upon a time and they then decided that I clearly wasn't going to get married. Uh, as I say, this was about 10, 15 years ago. And um, so they said they were going to spend my policy on their trip to New Zealand, which was fine. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can get back in to my live again on my other device. And yes, it's working. Hurrah. Um, OK, so I think it's about time we started crafting whilst whilst I'm live, as opposed to frozen or any of those good things. So I'm going to flip the camera, uh, which means it's going to shake really quite badly for a while. I have to get up onto a step to do this properly. Now, where's the where is the oh, that was clever. Um, so the bit that I need to press is place I can't get to. OK, so. Yay. OK, so up onto a step and let me see if this is even close to working correctly. Probably that's about as good as it's going to get. That almost works. Um, OK, so um, I seem to be losing the connection on my other device. Um, so I'm just going to hope for the best and going. And I'm still getting I'm still lovely. Pe I, do you know what? It's a it's a lovely pen because I can scribble. And I'm so pleased that you're leaving comments because um, because. Well, because my screen has frozen, I can see the comments, but I can't see the video. So, yes, it's a friction. It's a friction pen. The only problem with a friction pen I discovered the hard way is that when you want to laminate something and you've used your pen to do the laminate to write on uh, you then discover that um, actually it wasn't the best idea because um, because the laminate the heat of the laminator takes all the writing off so not great anyway yes I love it lots of refills for it because I like pink I never used to like pink but I do like pink um, okay so um, what am I going to show you? The first thing I'm going to show you is something I only just got and it literally arrived yesterday. And it's I've got the stamp set, um, but I hadn't had the project kit before. So this is the seriously the best project kit. And I literally haven't opened it. it arrived yesterday. Orders in the um, in Europe seem to be coming through really quite quickly, uh, which is good. 
so I know there are some parts of Germany and I think some parts of France that are having problems but certainly in the UK at the moment it's coming through without any problem at all so I got the stamp set some while ago because I love it and I have to say because um, Bruno and Kylie Batucci are using it a lot it is really a brilliant stamp set the project kit and um, I was asked to do some stuff for um, a stamping up event that then had to be cancelled um, because it was a face to face event. And because I was asked to do some stuff, some design work for them. Karen Sutton, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Liz Yule, Karen, and I'm from the UK. So I'm in I'm Old Stables Crafts, which is presumably why you're watching me. Sorry, just had to take a drink. My payment was to get some free goodies. So these are my free goodies. So um, there are there are instructions and it tells you what you can make. So 16 cards tells you what else you need. I have a horrible feeling that my screen on the other device has frozen again. Um, but that's fine. I know now how to redo it. Um, try again. Thank you. Um, so, yes. So we get some twine, some self-adhesive, I think they're self-adhesive, sequins uh they are sequins and then i mean we get this lovely box that we can keep it all in and then we get all the goodies so i have no idea what's in it but i thought it would be because i had the stamp set um and because i had to put the order in in not very long you know i didn't I only had a very small window to put the order it wasn't I didn't put the order in it was put in for me um, it was a question of what would I like that I hadn't already got from the mini or the annual catalogue be good so we got some vellum labels uh, birdies card pieces more labels more card pieces Printed cards, lots of those. More labels, lots of labels. More printed card. Ooh, printed vellum. Like that, like that a lot. Uh, I'm guessing those go with the printed sheets. More printed cards and envelopes. Ooh, pretty. All oh, the envelopes the same, looks like it. Oh, and more vellum. Oh, die cut vellum. So a really lovely kit. So, yes, I'm going to be putting that together sometime very soon because there are really nice sentiments. So we've got hello, friend. I miss you a lot. Perfect for the moment. Um, is this kit still available? Yes, it is, Jane. Um, so if you go to my online store, certainly in the UK and Europe, it's still available. It's in the um so i will be posting this to youtube so i will put links to it there um so yes still available so there we go and it's useful for all sorts of things um Okay, so that was just a thing. And the other bits that I got were the beautifully braided stamp set and punch. And the you always deliver. And I thought this would be nice because um, because my US UPS man obviously is still delivering. My postman is still delivering. So I thought it would be nice to be able to say thank you. Um, so, yeah, delivering sunshine your way. You always deliver. These are great things 
to say thank you to the people that are looking after us whilst we are in this slightly bizarre situation. Um, I mean, I use the word slightly in the loosest sense of the word. Um, so, yes, uh, I've, I have got a pack of thank you cards that I'm keeping in my handbag at the moment. So when I do go out for my essential shopping, um, I can give people a thank you card for looking after us. Um, and I have to say, I've had some wonderful responses. So I think it's just a nice thing to do. Anyway, um, I'm just going to take another slurp of my drink. And then we can get started on some crafting. So I thought I would start with the label me bold. Um, this is one of those admissions. I got this. I set it all up. I haven't used it. So I thought I'd use it today. Uh, I haven't planned what I'm using it for today, but I thought I would. So um, I've got some Whisper White, some, uh, some Poppy Parade and some ink pads. So I've got Pacific Point Granny Apple Green Poppy Parade ink pads and scraps of paper. Um, and I thought I would just see what happens. I have got some other things that are planned, but I thought I'd start with the unplanned. So I've got my usual size mats. Uh, so anyone who knows me um, knows that I do usual size mats. Um, and those are always over on my website. Um, oh, I think my, my other device is more trouble than it's worth. Um, it keeps freezing, but it means I can see your comments. So, so yes, yeah, so I've got a smaller piece of Whisper White um, and then a piece of Whisper White that's the same size, which is for the liner. So the same size as the Pacific Point. And what I thought I would do is pop those to one side for a start. I'm going to bring out the splodge for want of a better word, a splodge, grab a block. And I thought I would make this a thank you card again. Um, and just see what we come up with. Uh, I've got my very, very mucky I mean, it's not, it's clean, but my very stained um, chamois. So I'm going to start just by, actually I'm going to go offset. So one, two, and then clean. And because I am mucky, so do let me know you're still there because I'm sort of concerned I'm not seeing any comments. Go for grand apple green. So yes, do let me know that everything's working all right at your end. I feel sort of abandoned suddenly. So granny apple green twice. And maybe I need to swipe there and see. Oh. Um, so apparently nothing, no one's commenting at all. Hello B, thank you. Everything's still working. So yes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to do Keep losing you. Sorry, Karen. Thank you, Jackie. Um, I'm not, there's not much I can do about improving the signal. I'm not convinced. Got to pop off. <laughs> Fair enough, Louise. So, um, yes, there's not much I can do about the signal, I'm afraid great signal. That's not brilliantly. I should probably have done the green first. Right. Okay. So that's done. So I'll take away. Otherwise I'm going to run out of space. 
Oh, don't need to put that away. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you. Right. Okay. Now, this is where the fun starts. What I probably need is a longer, thinner piece of card. Is that going to fit? Yes, it is. So I'm going to... Um, Joanne's still here. Good. So I'm going to just gauge roughly how wide thank you is. In fact, what I'll do, let's do this sensibly. <sighs> Don't you love it? Had a brain, dangerous. Good, thank you, Carol. So as I've got the red out already, the poppy parade, I'm going to ink up my stamp and come in down here. And to quote Dina Rico, put my butt out. Yay! Okay, so that's what I wanted to be able to do because what I want to do now is trim my card to that width. Because and yes, this is which is only available for the rest of today. Hello, Wendy me again good um because it's only available in the starter kit so this is another butt out and not quite so straight but i can straighten it up when i cut it so that's my poppy parade and and whoops sorry i'm shaking uh, let's go granny apple green next And again, stick the bottom out. And again. And finally, we'll go for some Pacific Point. I keep having to refresh my feed for some reason. Um, I have to say, you couldn't make it up that I was thrown out of my own Facebook Live by Facebook. Because it was all going so well up until that point. Right. I hope... Is it OK to explain about the cleaning pad? Uh, yes, it's a chamois. Um, so it's a stamping chamois. It comes, but I cut mine down because for the stamparatus, it's easier to have the smaller pieces. Um, and it comes wet. Uh, I think I may have a new one somewhere. Let me see if I can, woo, find it without throwing everything all over the place. There we go. Everything falling all over the place. Uh, right, so this is how it comes. Um, and so it comes like this, um, a significant colour, uh, and you just, it just cleans. It's, you keep it damp, well you don't keep it damp, uh, to use it, it needs to be damp, um, and you can just rinse it to get ink out. Uh, some ink will stain it, which is why mine looks filthy, but actually I cleaned it Yes. Um, so, yeah, it's just great. It just dampen before use, air dry between uses, washable. Now, I have heard people put them in the dishwasher, which is weird, um, and in the washing machine. Um, sink. Then run, uh, run the tap hot before I put the plug in. Run the tap hot onto the chamois and then um it get that gets certain colors out yes you just need water it's all you need um and the the water will 
when you're washing it, the water will um, will take out a temperature of the water. Um, so yeah, now I did. I was going to straighten that out, didn't I? I think I'm that out with a pair of scissors because that is very very crooked. Um, so yeah. Um, so I run hot water onto it, then I leave it to soak uh, until the water cools down. And as the water cools, it takes out different colours. Um, well, as that, that one's crooked as well. I will have to straighten that out by hand. But it's great. Now, it won't take out stays on. It won't clean stays um stays on cleaner is the only thing that will take stays on off your stamps um but uh other than that it will work for most dye based ink so i'm just straightening that out a bit that's all right and that's all right um so yes it's i have to say it's not new 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 to the stamping industry um i first came across a similar product uh from american um stamp manufacturer that isn't stamp um but yeah so it's not new 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 uh right small dimensionals i think um so i'm just going to pop a couple of dimensionals on the back of each don't actually need that they at the moment so let's turn all of these over and oh you see i think my the problem with my feed famous last words i can either have your comments or i can see my picture um yeah you see famous last words the picture's now frozen as well <sighs> So I'm hoping everything's still working. If it is, just give me a few thumbs up so I know that everything's still working okay. Uh, I haven't been thrown out by Facebook again yet, but you never know, that could happen any minute now. So yes, if you just... Hello, Barbara. Uh, we had a few problems at the beginning in that Facebook decided to me. Now I see, yeah, now you see why. Light bulb moment. Because what I want to do is, 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 just add them. You see, this was completely unplanned. I mean, as in I hadn't designed it. Uh, the, other, the other projects I've got, I have actually designed. So what I try to do for my face to face coffee and card um, is things that don't need too many techniques or too much equipment, uh, because otherwise I have to hoik them all to the coffee shop, which is not a great use. And it fills up the table in the coffee shop rather quickly uh, because um, the coffee shop tables aren't that big. Um, and sometimes we do get quite a few people coming. So, um, so yes, I try to not use too many bits and pieces, punches, those sorts of things. Uh, obviously, while we're doing these live versions, I can do a little more. But, um, yeah. See, I'm one of these sad people. I, or maybe I'm not. Do you have rubber in? Do you leave the red rubber in and put your stamps back in? I find particularly when I'm is, it means I know I've got all the stamps left. Or back, rather, um, which is always useful to know. So, that's that. Um, I'm having a good run. Yeah, famous, famous last words, Jackie. Um, if by that you mean that things haven't gone do lally for a while. Um, it's normally the moment when I say, oh, look, everything's working all right, that they stop working all right. 
Now, I like to do that. I'm not very good at pushing things down flat from the front. You can normally guarantee that if I do that, I end up moving things um, and not in a good way. Absolutely, Joanne. That's precisely why I do it. OK, so now when you fold your card in half. Now, I do I do the long thin because from a photography point of view, it's a lot better because I can then photograph. Um, you normally find that one side is bigger than the other. I put the bigger side at the front so that if you're opening the card, it's kind of got a lip. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's each to their own. But that is longer than the other, I would put that to the front of your card, whether you're doing long and thin or short and fat. So that's that. And again, I'm going to turn it over to do that. And pop that on. Now, I will go that again. And uh, actually, because we're doing thank you decisions. No, I will go that. I will go that, but I will also go that. So, and I know that's kind of weird because I think I am actually going to use Pacific Point. Actually, no, I won't. I mean, I will, but I won't. So, we're going to go I do like to leave my stamps down long enough that the ink can transfer. Call me old fashioned. Um, so we're doing Pacific Point and I'm making that move. Why can't you post them, Carol Ann? Our, our mail is still working. So is your mail not working? Stamps. Uh, I mean, we can get stamps online if you want them in bulk um yeah um hello margaret sorry about the earlier live that it's facebook through but it decided i wasn't me again i am on my i i kid you not i think i'm on my sixth uh password reset um for anyone that for anyone who doesn't know, and if you don't know, then you're really lucky. Um, my Facebook was hacked, and this became apparent last night at about well, about so just coming up to midnight. Uh, my Facebook suddenly, I suddenly realized my Facebook had been hacked because I was sending people YouTube videos through Messenger, apparently. Um, so I suddenly had this flurry of messages. Um, dare I say, at a point when I was trying to sort the problem out. Um, you didn't lose me, Margaret. I lost you, if you see what I mean. Um, the, the feed went down. They threw me out of Facebook. Um, so, yes, I at late yesterday, I suddenly had to um, reset passwords. Now, I had to reset my password three times between half past 11 and midnight. I reset it again this morning. And just as I was going live, well, about five, min five, ten minutes into my first attempt at the live um, earlier today or today, uh, it decided that I wasn't me. So I had to, um, which was just perfect. Uh, so there we are. So there's a little thank you card. Um, and obviously you can write a you know, generic message if you're going to be handing this out to people in the supermarket, your postman, those sorts of things. But yes, yeah, so Karen, oh, due to your health. OK, so can you leave? Can you leave your letters on the doorstep for somebody else to pick up and take to the post for you? Maybe just thinking. Anyway, so that's that one, which was the. Un um, so ooh, let's do that. So this is my next little bundle, which you can tell the cats are big. They're not supposed to come in here. Sitting in the wrong place. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, pass. Um, so this is the coordination paper. 
the 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 please just punch so today is the last day Jane, I don't post. I mean, yes, uh, the, it, it's coming from it comes from our warehouse in Germany. And yes, they are they are actually posting things out, shipping things out. I would say a day quicker than normal at the moment. So, yes, if you want to place an order. You will a make me very happy um, and we're down. It, we're relying on UPS, but at the moment, UPS are delivering everywhere in the UK. I checked this morning um and it's all working fine so if you want to place an order yes please that would be lovely. there's a new host code tomorrow but that will be on my website but currently the the current web uh, host code is still viable so yes yeah, so this is the please just punch coordinate which i have been massacring it's not my first one uh so we've got tulips with garden green on the back uh, we've got the little blossom punch with uh, kind of like a rainbow on the back. We've got hearts that go with the heart punches with, I want to say pink gingham. Yes, gingham on the back. And then umbrella raindrops on the back. That one that I'm using today. Uh, and it that, that sheet coordinates with this punch, which is... The one that goes with the under my umbrella, um, and if you buy under my umbrella and the punch together as a bundle, um, then it all gets temp those two bits get ten percent percent off. But do remember to use the bundle code; otherwise, you will pay the full price. So let me just some things round, and don't want those anymore. So I have already done some prep for this. Uh, these are the pun <laughs> I'm going to be using. Um, so yes, Jane, everything is status quo, really. Yeah. And that there. Um, and I don't know if you spotted my post this morning over on my website. I have got uh, tutorial bundles that I'm now able to a sell. So one doesn't go live until tonight, um, but the other one, which is for the Stamping Glam Squad, which I was asked to join their design team middle of February. So the first one I did was March. Um, and there's eight of us from across the world we do 16 tutorials each month available at the back end of the month into the beginning of the following month so if you place an order in that month pounds or more um, then you get the tutorial bundle free uh, otherwise you can buy it for 15 pounds so yes uh, the March one is animals but most of the designs I would honestly say are generic um, so not just for animals. So this little card, um, and yes, I've got a little bit of stamping on the inside as well. So I'm just going to do the stamping on the inside first, purely because uh, I like to leave my memento to dry before I use my blends. Um, now, my, my other screen has... Please, could you tell me if you're still there? You are. Excellent. I've just seen a comment from Wendy saying, hi, Jackie. So that must mean that things are... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, Caroline. Um, that's rotten. Uh, my father's in the same position. So my father is 89 and I mean, he's 89. So that's probably says it all. But he has underlying health issues as well. So a half million people in the UK who have been put on to 12 weeks isolation. They literally are not allowed to put their noses outside of their front doors. Fortunately, my father. Um, a garden so he can potter around there um, but yeah 
it's rotten. Um, to this, so I'm doing a slightly different colorway. So I'm keeping with the colors that are in the paper. I've switched out the um, the balmy blue. I've now got blushing bride, and for the blushing bride, I've now got soft sea foam, and I've got a long thin card again, and I haven't haven't creased this one already um, and I'm technically folding this against its grain um, I did a post a top tip Tuesday a while ago about which way you should fold your card and this is not the way to fold it um, if you're going to fold it long and thin you really should. so of course I haven't um because why would I do what I say um let's just you know get real um so, yes, so my farm was locked behind his door. I did go over to see him from a distance um, Friday. He, it was short of fresh food. Uh, I mean, he's got lots of food in the house, but it's not what I would call, you know, the fresh stuff. So milk, vegetables. And although he should be getting deliveries from the government, that's crooked. Um, they won't be starting just yet. Um, so it was kind of weird being able to see him but not be with him. Uh, right, so I'm going to stick this down with snail. I mean, I would be quite happy to use... Oh, snail and a cat, cat hair. Um, I would be quite happy to use um, Tombow as well, but I'll use this. Uh, Wendy, it's coming and going is the answer to that question. So probably yes. Um, so I'm popping this towards the top. So let me just see if we are still going. Try again. Swoosh in from the left. Yes, everybody is still having freezing problems. Um, so, sorry, it's there's not much I can do about a poor signal. Uh, right, so, dimensionals. I've punched these out already. It's really easy to do. Let me grab a piece of the paper and show you. So, what you need to do is to actually cut the one you want. And then uh, probably need to trim that bit down a bit more. So you kind of cut it and then come in like that. So it won't obviously line up with the paper unless you cut round it. Um, and if you cut round it, you then get a nice image. Um, so actually, let's see when, oh, I've got two of those, don't need two of those. So I am nationals on the back. I am carrying on, Jane. Um, I'm just working on the premise that if I keep going, hopefully it'll catch up. Um, I am having to refresh my of the screen every now and again but I think that's more of an issue with trying to refresh the screen in fact let's let me come out of Facebook on that and see if for you it did mean that I was going to be able to see your comments easier I'll just have to see if they come up on my phone thank you I press my mouse click and you come back good as if by magic so let's just decide which order i'm gonna have these yeah that'll do um so this is i mean this is relatively straightforward card making um it's not you know it's almost no stamping but sometimes no stamping is good. A little bit further down. There we go. Ironed, my last one. Now, the only thing I do just need to make sure is that I don't come so high that I'm going to interfere with that. 
Chuck them in a bit. I'm doing that whole, if I don't line it up, if I deliberately don't line it up, it doesn't matter if it doesn't line up. It's really strange when you see your hands, but your voice seems to come from across the room. Okay. Um, I have to say, in order to... <laughs> What's There's a quiz thing. Uh, plenty of food. Uh, have a family quiz every week on Zoom. What a brilliant idea. Um, right. So, I have already punched and stuck together three umbrella handles just out of Whisper White. I think it may even have been thick Whisper White. Um because I want them a little up from the page. Um, so actually, let's get these the right way around. Um, so I don't want the umbrella handles to be flat on the page. But can you imagine trying to get dimensionals behind these? So tell me, is it better now that I have turned off my other device? Is the signal better? If it is, could you put some hearts up? Um, all the punches, if you punch. Yes, it does, Jane. So the the um, the pleased as punch paper coordinates with the. Uh, the Valentine's heart, so there's the two heart punches. Um, the mini blossom, which is a celebration item, but maybe in the annual catalogue, hint, hint. Um, I mean, I can't guarantee that, but that's what it says in the celebration stuff. Um, and the umbrella punch and what's the other one? The hearts, the blossoms, the umbrella and oh the tulip so yes that's why it's called pleased as punch um so that you can just use your punches so it is still available but only for the rest of today so if you are putting in an order today um then a you'll get march's uh tutorial um and B, you will get to buy the paper. My first time watching live, so we'll be back weekly now. Good, Wendy. Um, when we go out of isolation, um, I might need to choose change the day because this is my regular coffee and card day. Um, but it's my regular coffee and card day in person. Um, but I'm aiming to keep my lives going so I'm just adding some more adhesive to the back of my umbrella stick shaking like a leaf just tuck that under there and then I've got one blue one so that's going to be the one in the middle um, again I like to do that whole if one thing's different make it obviously different uh, if you want something to be crooked make it obviously crooked see i very carefully made sure that i had enough space there and very carefully made didn't make sure i had enough space there but fortunately i do uh, it might be two devices pulling too much internet well that's what i wondered so if it's better now um that's obviously it because I am right at the end of the Wi-Fi range. Uh, my other option was going to be to move into the house uh, for my lives. But A, that will interrupt my husband doing stuff. B, that would mean my husband would interrupt us. And C, it would mean I would have to move lots of stuff. Um, but I did want to be able to read the messages, the comments. Um, what is your favourite color and stamp set die bundle Ooh, you mean from any anything that's available absolutely anything so i can choose anything can i uh if i can choose anything my favorite bundle moves i mean it's changes um 
dies. So the dies that I've used, suddenly remembered I need to tell you which dies I've used, are the ones that go with the So Sentimental bundle. So they're, they're these, because um, they're lovely and scalloped and stitched and all those good things. Uh, this is Gorgeous Grape. Yes, Gorgeous Grape. Um, so I've die cut a couple just in case I go wrong. Uh, so which is my favourite? Gosh, um, what have I been making lots of recently? Favourite colour might be easy. Ooh, I don't know. Favourite colour will be any easier. Uh, that tends to change as well. Um, the one, the bundle that I've been using most, and this isn't just a sales plug, uh, but the one I have been using most recently is the new Ornate Garden Suite, which will be available for customers to buy tomorrow. Um, so that's my fav the one I've been using most. Is it my favourite? It's a really difficult question. Um, I don't. I think it's a bit like having children, or in my case, cats. I don't think I actually have a favourite. Um, do I? Uh, I've been using the Tropical Oasis Suite quite a bit. Um, Surprisingly, I've been using the well-dressed, best-dressed, the female version, um, more than I thought I would. I wasn't going to buy it. Um, I was going to get the dies because I like the bag, but I wasn't going to get the stamp set. Um, and then I kind of, because I did a, a virtual um, catalogue launch, I... I have the stamp set and punch, but I guess I would have to get the DSP. To do this card, um, you could punch, you could just stamp. You could just stamp, because you've got the stamp, so you could just stamp. So you could actually make your own DSP with the flowers. Um, so yeah, you could just stamp, or just use another DSP and just punch out, stamp on it and punch out. So you don't have to use this paper but it's nice paper um, and as it's going out you know it's today's the last day that I can really justify using it on camera um, so yes what was I saying yes the the well-dressed best dressed uh, dress to impress is was a surprise I've used it a lot I really like the florals um, so that was a surprise so just some quick coloring um, so this is Dark Mango Melody. So this is the inside of the card, you will remember. So Mango Melody. And Highland Heather Dark, because I've used Gorgeous Grape, and Dark Highland Heather is the nearest match I can do to Gorgeous Grape. So, yes, so favourite colour was the other one, wasn't it? Uh, do you have an old-time favourite? Oh, the one that I loved, um, which is no longer with us. Gorgeous Grunge. I was so sad when that went. I loved Gorgeous Grunge. So, yeah, it was one of the first stamp sets I bought. Um, and I nearly went into mourning when they dropped it. In fact, I think I did. I still haven't quite got over it. And then Granny Apple Green. So that's the inside. And then I'm going to add colour to my outside flowers as well. So I'm going to do Gorgeous Grape. And then I just want to show you one more card after this. Um, which was in answer to, so over on my uh, community board, I've got a community group, which is the Old Stable Crafty Hangout, um, which anyone can join. And it's just basically to share your crafty ideas, your crafty projects. Um, and I've got a, a thread there for what would you like me to, to see me do on Facebook? 
um, on the lives. Uh, and I have an answer to one of those. Ooh, I missed out one of the gorgeous grapes. Uh, I have a Highland Heather even. I have one of those coming next. So hang on for that. Um, so yes, if there are any techniques or um, products that you want to see used, I don't have the whole catalogue. Please don't assume I do. I wish. Um, I have quite a lot, but not everything. Um, so yes, if there's anything that you are curious to see, techniques you want to learn, any of those sorts of things, um, then do let me know over on my Crafty Hangout. Uh, you can get to there. There's a link from this page, I think. But there is definitely a link um, from my website um, and from my YouTube channel. So, yeah, anyone can join. Any crafts are very welcome, so it doesn't have to just be stamping and paper craft. It can be knitting and crochet and, um, I don't know, willow weaving, flower arranging. My favourite is the poppy set and the second, the bees. Do you know I've hardly used the bees and at the moment I'm not, um, purely because they are caught up in the issues in China. Um, and by which I mean, so I'm just looking for my Wink of Stella, which was around. Um, so, 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 oh, I think it's in there. No. Yes. Here it is. Because um, I wanted to add some Wink of Stella. So the Chinese factories are pretty much back working, but there is a bit of a backlog. Um, so I'm just adding the Wink of Stella to the purple because it really pops off the purple, certainly in real life. I don't know if it does in on video, but and I'm also going to smash to add a bit of general sparkle. Um, so, yes, the bee dies are currently... I think not orderable or on back order and I can't remember which. So hi, Linda. Um, so I'm kind of avoiding using that at the moment, but otherwise I would be absolutely there with you. Right. OK, we are nearly done with this. So I just need some dimensionals on the back. Probably don't need that many, but OK. So dimensionals on the back. And let's pop that down there. And, oh, and if anyone is thinking about joining Stamping Up, whoever team you are looking to join, today is the last day to get the Celebration freebies. So please don't miss out um, because, yeah. It's a lovely offer. So you get what you get, the mini trimmer, you get the um, uh, some designer series paper, little six by six um, introductory pack, sample pack, uh, and um, a, a stamp set of your choice. Right, so I um, missed the start hope you're okay yes i am very well thank you mary um father is doing very well i think your favorite your favorite is the oasis tropical oasis bundle and you've been using the water the welcome easter stamp set ah well welcome easter stamp set will be on a t on a youtube channel near you very soon um like tomorrow Assuming I managed to get it posted in time. Um, I thought I had kept out. No, obviously not. OK, so I want to put on, I was going to use slightly smaller ones than that, but never mind, uh, some rhinestones. 
because I can, really. Um, so before I stab myself. So, yes, I actually saw my father, Mary, um, on Friday. When I say saw, I mean literally saw from afar. Uh, I was delivering him some groceries because he was running out of things like milk and, dare I say, tonic water, um, which is, you know, I, he, I'm happy for him to have his gin and tonic. Um, it's the least we can allow him at the moment. Um, I did add a twine bow there, but hey. This one won't have one. So there we are. So that's that one. Um, so, yes, I went over to see him. I mean, it's about it's something just over an hour, even without any traffic. Weird. I have to say it was really weird. There was no traffic. Um, I could do it because I it came under the heading of essential travel or es yes, essential travel. You're allowed to look after your loved ones um, as part of your essential travel. So, yes. Now, got those and those. This looks like I've got more stuff than I actually have. So one of the um, one of the things I was asked to do on the uh, Facebook feed was to do um, piecing. So paper piecing so that is it but I thought I'd also do the mirror stamping technique which you can guarantee is now going to go wrong of course um so one of the girls in one of the ladies in the village who is self-isolating um I've put a thing out on our Facebook group in well I'll no, our website really um in the village to say if anyone is self-isolating and needs um needs any greetings cards to let me know and I will sort some out for them so bless her she rang me back end of last week she doesn't need them yet I will hasten to add uh, she rang me back end of last week with her list of what she wants and um, one of them was for a granddaughter I think who likes dancing and I don't have the dancing um, stamp set from the annual catalogue so I was thinking what can I do what can I use that is dancing and then I remembered the um, beautiful you which has been around for a long time it was one of my first um, prize patrols at um, on stage years ago uh, I suddenly remembered that it has this lady on it so Yes, uh, and I'm going to use the happy birthday from Sending Thoughts because, again, this goes today. Free celebration item. Right. OK, so. I think the easiest, way, no, sensible way to do this. I've got what have I got? So that's my smaller piece of Whisper White. And I don't need that for the moment. Um, so what you want is a... Um, Silica mat, your stamp, memento ink. You can use any ink other than stays on. You don't want stays on. Um, and I think that it's probably easiest to do the mirror first. So I'm using the Sea Silhouette paper. I think it's called Sea Silhouette. Uh, You're still, yeah, I bet you are, Mary. Um, presumably you have to self-isolate from having come back from overseas. Are you in quarantine? Um, I literally popped everything on his on his doorstep and rang the doorbell and ran. Um, I did then, he's got quite a long footpath to his house, so I did then sort of have a conversation at length. Um, so, yes, I'm using the see a silhouette paper because I wanted to get some blue and some other colour. Um, this one used a different sheet which was mostly Mango Melody and Poppy Parade which is why I've got Mango Melody and Poppy Parade but I thought I would switch to a different paper. So we're going to start by doing the uh, stamping for the reverse dress and hat and all that good stuff. Um, I am going to need my chamois. 
So you want to ink up your stamp well and stamp, I've still got it left from when I was doing the original, stamp down and hold it there for a reasonable length of time. No one, no, no one said to do it, but I am for everybody's safety. That makes sense. Hi from Texas, Elizabeth. Um, thank you for joining us all that way. Good morning. It must be early in the morning with you. Right, so I'm holding that down for a reasonable length of time. Come up and then take your paper and press. And you have, it's fairly faint, I accept it's fairly faint, but we're going to resolve that. So that's that one. Um, so let me just get that cut away. Uh, then I need to clean that off my mat. And make sure it's dry-ish. And then this is where the fun really starts. So here, here. I want it that way. So I want it that way. Yes. Right. I just needed to make sure I knew which which orientation I was in. Um, so now I'm going to do the stamping for the Whisper White. No one told me self-isolate. I'm, I'm really surprised that bearing in mind that where you were that they didn't but um, it's kind of weird isn't it? Right so stamp hold and up and grab your piece of card and press and pray a lot this is a great way of getting dirty fingers, by the way, as you can see. Um, fingers crossed, everyone. Yay! It does stamp much better on card than it does on DSP because it's a smoother surface. It's not got any finish on it. So having done that one, we can now do the other one. So the real one, as it were, the straight onto the card one. And as I say, bringing in my Dina Rico sticky bottom out. I want their hands to be sort of touching. So that's that. Yes, Hurrah! love it when a plan comes together and then do the dress which we will do on the mango melody bit. So did you all know that you could do this? Is there anything I can use to clean out the new cutter gap without scratching it? Okay, I'll have a look at that. Uh, yes, I was. I'm surprised you didn't have temperature checks and things when uh, Mary. Um, right. So I will very quickly bring in my new trimmer. So this, you mean? So without scratching it. Uh, yes. So to clean out the track, because obviously it doesn't come out now. Um, I just get a piece of card. and um, clean it out. Um, dare I say, the, the nozzle on your hoover will work quite nicely as well. But yeah, I mean, I've got quite a lot of gick out. There's a bit of gick just there. But yeah, gick. Where's the camera? There, gick. Um, so yeah, but I mean, that's pretty much what I used to do with my old one. Um, the other thing that you can do is uh, get a 
damp cloth. These are very old wet wipes. I'm trying to use. I've got. I've managed to get um, biodegradable wet wipes. These are not they, but I have managed to get some for when these run out. So you can get a wet wipe or a damp cloth. Pop your poking your pokey tool um, over it and do that, and that helps. Um, just be careful that you don't, you know, that you are actually in the channel. Um, but yeah, that that works. So hope that hope that helped. Um, right. Okay. So let's get this done. Let's get this done. So so that's we can leave cat fur again. Uh, so let me just very quickly, whoops, bring on a scrap of paper. Um, fussy cutting. There's a lot of fuss about fussy cutting. Um, it's not difficult. I mean, this isn't that easy because it's fairly faint. Uh, but as I say, we're going to resolve that in a moment. Um, so just move your card. Don't move your scissors. All you're doing with your scissors is opening and closing them. Simple as... And just follow round. I can't remember who it was who wanted paper piecing. No, I can't remember who it was. Um, but someone wanted paper piecing and this was what they wanted to see. Was it you, Margaret? Have had dinner and you're back. Fair enough. So yes, just just follow the lines, simple as. Um, I mean, I have been doing this for years, so I know I can easily say simple as. Um, just practice. What I would suggest is if, bearing in mind we've now got time, huh, she says, um, I wish. Uh, bearing in mind we now have time, um, Try cutting out something from, I don't know, a magazine or something like that, just to practice. Um, because the more you practice, it's like everything. The more you do it, the easier it gets. But um, I have been doing, I used to do hand cut decoupage. So with teeny weeny scissors, somewhere I've still got them. There we are. Tiny scissors. Uh, I've got a straight pair somewhere as well. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of my, in my backyard. But it really isn't. It's say it's just practice. Which I know is really unhelpful for me to say. But it is just practice. So, you know, find a scrap of paper or just ordinary photocopy paper. Do lots of stamped images on it. And um, just practice. And if you do start getting caught up in your pieces of paper, cut away the bit you don't want. So, yeah. This looks fun. Do give it a try. It is such fun. Um, so the technique of mirror stamping from memory is in the annual catalogue. Um, it's in one of the catalogues anyway. But I mean, it's been it's something I've been doing for years. Uh, I forget to do it, but I have been doing it for years. Um, but you want a slick surface and the silicon mat works really well. You want a surface that's slick enough that it will hold the um, the ink without it puddling, if that makes sense. Um, so, yes. Um, so then add a little bit of adhesive. You don't need much. It is only going to be sticking something on that isn't going to want to go anywhere. So then just pop that down. I should probably have done my car, my blends first. So we'll do my blends now. And what my blends, what I will also do is, so these are not great lines. So I've got a journaling pen. I mean, you can use any black pen. Um, and I'm just going to reinforce the lines. 
So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go mad, but just the ones that are kind of more obviously not there, um, just reinforce them a bit. Um, wiggle the hair. And I mean, that really is just a scribble. Uh, you really don't need to do much to make it look OK. Pop the hat back on. And suddenly you've got something that looks like it's been stamped properly. Um, so, no, it wasn't me. Oh, OK. I wonder who it was. I shall have to go and have a look and make sure I reply to that question. Oh, there was me saying I was going to use the blends before I stuck the next bit on. Ha! Memory like a sieve. Um, I would certainly recommend using a liquid adhesive for this bit. Because, um, if you were using snail, then once you're there, you're kind of there. Right, so three blends. I'm going to throw that in the bin. Um, so I've got light crumb cake, dark crumb cake and ivory. Um, ivory is one of the two flesh colours that we've got. Uh, we've got ivory and bronze. So just... Now it's only a sketch image, so you don't have to go mad. You don't have to be terribly precise. And I'm thinking she's got bare feet. So I'm just going to use ivory all the way. So that's that. Then a scribble of dark crumb cake just for her shadow and light crumb cake. Just to join that up because otherwise it kind of looked weird. And that is that. So all we need to do now is stamp happy birthday on the inside would be good. And as I say, I'm just using the Sending You Thoughts celebration set because it is the last day that that is going to be available. And it is a great set if you need a set of sentiments. Um, it's a really great one or to get. Um, let me bring it in so you can see what it says. Um, so we've got with a big with a great big wish for happiness. Great for the moment. Um, what's this I hear? Well, all I can say is um, whatever you want it to say. Uh, happy birthday. Another sensational year of you. You'd be better already. Um, if loving thoughts could heal, I would say you'd be better already. Sending you a little something. Thanks and congratulations. So some really good what I would call generic um, sentiments. So, again, I've got the happy birthday there. Um, so let me pop everything together and then we will be done. Uh, what pen is that you're using? I need an extra fine tip pen. Um, OK, so this is one of the journaling pens which comes as a pair. Today I have got both of them instantly to hand. This is the thick one. Um, I might have some more tucked away in a minute. I will just, I will show you momentarily. Um, I have a pen pot. I use the word loosely. It's a pot which has pens and sponge daubers and bone folders and apparently two straws, as in drinking straws. Um, all sorts of, oh, what am I doing? Um, losing my mind, I think. Yes, I've got pretty much everything in my pen pot apart from the other journaling pen. But uh, I will find I will find some for you and I will show you. Um, 
but yes it's a journaling pen it comes in a pack of two I want to say they're three pounds something in the UK uh, I'll have a look in a moment um, not straight straight Now, I do like, and I know I say this on my YouTube videos as well, if I'm using wet glue to stick down my Whisper White, the smooth, comes 40 sheets in a pack, cardstock, I stick glue onto the card, the other piece of card. So I will put the glue onto the other piece of card first. Um, it's less likely to wibble the, the card. Oh, oh. Right, so this is the other one. So let me, so there's, there's the finished card. This is the thin one. So that is point, that's a zero one. I don't know what it's a zero one of, and this is a zero five. So let me bring those up to the camera. Can you see? So this is the thin one. This is the thick. They come, they're in the annual catalog. They come as a pair. Um, and I'm hoping that they will come under colouring tools, but life's never that easy. Um, no. Oh, yes, journaling pens, £5.50. I apologise, I thought they were £3 something. So £5.50 for the pair. So they're £2.50, £2.75 each. So, and they, I love them. I use them for all sorts of things. Um, not just for journaling, but they are really good. Uh, and they are acid free, waterproof, fade resistant, bleed resistant, all those good things. So, so there we go. So that's it really for today. Um, so that's the one we just made. Let me bring everything back in. That's the other one. That's that one. And what was the other thing we made? We looked at that. We made something. Oh yes, I remember. I remember. It was the. It was the that. So let me just grab a couple of things. So, um, the host code at the moment I can't remember. Uh, the host code as of tomorrow will be. Let me grab a pen. A thicker pen will be G A four R T X F. Oops, nine. That's April. Um, remember that as of nine o'clock, I think it's nine o'clock or nine thirty tonight, I can start selling the Ornate Garden Bundle. Mega bundle, 90, I kid you not, 90 tutorials in this bundle. You can either buy it for £17 or you can get it free for an order of, I want to say, £60. Um, the Glam Squad tutorials, which are 16 per month, are free with a £45 order and £15 to buy. Um, March is animals, but the projects are pretty generic. Um, I think there's only a couple where you kind of have to have an animal involved, but mostly not. Um, so do remember that. Um, and if you use the host code, you also get free product, um, as part of your thank you. And you also get, if you order from me, a thank you card and thank you gift. So yes, uh, thank you for making a lovely set of cards. Well, thank you, B. Um, thanks, is I must have missed them in the catalogue. What the the these? Yes, they're brilliant. They are brilliant. I love them. I like writing with a really narrow pen. So the zero one is my preferred. Um, although I have kind of transitioned onto uh, my uh, friction pens because you can rub them out. Anyway, uh, my <laughs> my. If you could see the state of my desk now. Um, let me see if I can flip you round just so that we can finish off. Whoops, sorry, face to face. Uh, 
I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit. Yay. Hello. Hello, you. Um, so yes, thank you very much. Um, it was an interesting start and I have overrun. What a surprise. Uh, the voice and picture running at a different st speed. Hey, <laughs> would that be the only problem? Anyway, um, you'll probably you'll find that the replay will be fine. So thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you again next this time next week. So 11 o'clock UK time next week. That's 10 o'clock Europe time. Um, and I will see you hopefully on YouTube. Uh, actually, I've got a, I've got a new project going live at... I want to say one o'clock. It's either one o'clock or two o'clock this afternoon um, on YouTube. So do have a look at that. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. And it uses the tulip punch um, and stamp set. And it's really pretty. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. And I will see you again soon. Bye bye.